What's up guys, BD Wiz here. Today we're gonna test a class D amplifier. <laughs> but this is a Pro Audio amp. Super lightweight class D Behringer NU1000. Let's try it out and see how it does. All right guys, here's the ultra lightweight high density 1000 watt power amplifier from Behringer, the Anuk NU1000. The front's very basic, just two gain knobs and a power button. Not a lot going on on the rear. Got inputs, they're XLR quarter inch combos. We have crossover and we also have a switch mode for stereo or bridged. And then we have the twist lock outputs for the speak on type connectors and then the power connector. All right, six screws will remove the cover on the lid and check out the guts. There's not a whole lot going on here. Class D amplifiers don't have huge transformers. In the very center, there's a fan shroud that directs air down to keep the amp cool. Some extra things I bought to go along with the amplifier. I got a extra heavy duty power cord here to make sure we're getting all the power we need from the wall outlet. Quarter inch to RCA adapters and also the speak on to binding post connectors. Here you can see the difference between the factory 16 gauge and the upgraded 14 gauge power connector. And also here's the speak on to binding post. These are uh, speaker leads that you can purchase. And these are 12 gauge uh, for high power amplifiers. Very nice, very thick, very well made. And you can see how the connector works here. Just push it in and twist to the right and it snaps into place. Since I'm using RCA inputs, I decided to go with a quarter inch to RCA adapters. You can see these uh, multiple connectors here. You can put the quarter inch in the center and we can use RCA straight from our head unit. Speaking of our head unit, here's the Alpine 9815 head unit that we use. See the video description for an earlier video showing how clean this unit is. All right, so here's the part most of you guys want to see, the dyno test. First up, we're gonna do an eight ohm run. All these tests here I'm showing for stereo are gonna be certified. That means up to 1% THD. Now, Behringer doesn't give us an eight ohm rating. You can see here we got 125 watts and 121 watts into eight ohms at 1% distortion. Four ohms, it says the amp does 300 by two and didn't quite get that. We got 217 and 209 into four ohms at 1% THD. Two ohms, it says 500 by two, but again, it doesn't say RMS, it doesn't say what distortion is, but up to 1% THD, we got 315 and 303. So quite a bit less than what they rated at. Now we went down to 1.6 ohms just to see if it could handle the load, and it looks like it did, 341 and 332. So that's pretty decent power, still not up to its rated 1,000 watts total. Then we decided, hey, let's bump it down a little more. Let's try 1.33 ohms. And this one, we're just doing a burst test. This kind of simulates music. And it handled it, you can see here, 442, 441. So about 883 watts total, still shy of the 1,000 watts this amp is rated. Since it appears a lot of you guys want to use this amp bridge mono, I'm going to show you how I did that. First off, I bought this Nutric NL4FX connector, and this was to allow me to bridge the amp. You can see there's three separate parts to the connector, and I'll show you how it goes together. Um, the top right and the bottom left are the two you're going to use for bridge. The top right is positive, the bottom left is the negative. So I got my speaker wire, my 12 gauge stinger, Pro Series speaker, uh, speaker wire wired up. And then the little plastic piece slides up next and it kind of goes into a little notch. And then you'll slide up the other plastic piece and this is the part that twists on that keeps everything nice together. And it's difficult to do this with one hand holding the camera, but it looks like I did all right. And there you go, it's all together, nicely connected. And then again, 
with these twist lock connectors, they just kind of go into the slot on the back and then twist to the right and you'll hear a pop and everything's good. Now all you have to do is switch the mode over to bridging and we're ready to try this joker out. Mono, let's see how it does. So the first test we're gonna do here is a certified test. This is gonna take us up to 1% THD. Amplifier is rated 1000 watts, so let's see what it'll do. All right, 639 watts at 1% THD. That's a little shy, actually quite a bit shy of the ratings from Behringer. Um, we have a couple more tests we can do. We can go back and we can do another test, which is up to clipping. That's what the uncertified mode on the amp dyno here entails. So we'll try this one. All the tracks today are 40 Hertz. So we're gonna simulate you know, using this amplifier as a subwoofer amplifier, like with your home theater receiver. All right, 691 watts, four ohms. So again, we're still over 300 watts shy of the recommended um, or the suggested output from Behringer. Now again, we have one more test we're gonna try. This is a dynamic test. And what this does is it simulates, in this particular test, a kick drum, because it does a 40 Hertz pulse. So we're gonna see what the amplifier can do simulating playing back music, like kick drum style music. All right, end of the test, 869 watts. We're still shy of the thousand watts that they rate this amplifier at. So just wanted to do this test, try out this amp, see how well it would do. It's $149 and actually got an open box, which was even cheaper. So it's pretty, still pretty good power for the money, but I uh, just wish they would rate them or give you guys an idea of really what the uh, RMS power is. And so that's what I'm doing for you. All right, guys, there you have the test of the Behringer NU-1000. You guys know how I feel about ratings and wish it would have done closer to its ratings, but still, hooking this joker up to some subwoofers and four ohms bridged, even two ohms bridged, wow. It, um, it really slams. For a home theater, uh, this seems like a pretty good deal for a subwoofer amplifier if you have a passive subwoofer. So I hope you guys enjoyed the test. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I have more videos coming soon. Like this, testing amplifiers, head units, car stereo, home stereo, pro audio. You want it, you got it right here. Until next time, I'm out of here.